Hi everyone, it's Reen from Embroidery Garden, and I thought I'd do a little video and show you how I did the Christmas tree quilting file that I used in my Winter Gnomes uh, table runner that I made. Uh, Barbara from the group wanted to know how I created the tree, so I'm going to show you that right now. So I downloaded a free, royalty-free uh, Christmas tree SVG file that I found online. I printed it out and I went over it with a marker, a fine line Sharpie, because it was kind of light when I um, did it. I'm going to do this on my Luminaire in my design center. Uh, the Baby Lock equivalent machines to the top of the line brother machines can do the same thing. So after I have my tree printed out, I'm going to put it onto the scanning frame that comes with the machine. I'm going to use a couple of magnets to hold it in place. And then I'm going to put it on the machine. It slides on just like any of your hoops do. And I'm going to open up my design center. To scan this image, I'm going to touch the little leaf up here at the top. And then it opens up a menu down at the bottom that um, has a couple of different things. This is a simple line drawing. So I'm going to hit line design and now scan. It says the frame is going to move and it's going to get scanned with the built-in camera. So I hit OK. Now it's going to start to scan what is on the uh, scanning frame. The reason I downloaded an SVG file, I could have easily used a coloring book page or any kind of a uh, JPEG that um, I wanted, that looked like a tree that I wanted. I chose an SVG file, a scalable vector graphic, because I'm going to show you another way, quick, easy way of doing the same thing in my software. So as soon as it's done uh, scanning, we're going to uh, go into my design center and turn this into stitches. So on the screen, here's the tree. Um, what you're gonna do is take the arrows and crop exactly what you want to uh, be using. So you can see I've got the tree in the little box. Hit okay. It, oops, I got something right there. I don't want that in there. So um, what I'm gonna do is, that's okay, I'm just gonna leave that there for now. Hit set. Now we are in my design center. Now, since I have that little edge of the magnet in there, I need to erase that first thing. So I'm gonna hit the eraser. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and then just start erasing that. Because if I don't, that's gonna be stitches and that will stitch out. So I've got it all erased there, hit okay. So there's my little tree graphic. We're gonna use these five icons here. Those are the line property icons. Line properties are zigzag stitches, running stitches, candle wick, blanket stitch, all of those type of uh, lines that I could apply to this tree. So I'm gonna hit the big zigzag and here are the uh, line properties I just talked about. It defaults to zigzag. The next one is running, triple stitch, candle wick. Here's the chain stitch, blanket stitch, V-stitch, and then you can open up a whole bunch of motive stitches. I want just a running stitch, so I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And I'm gonna change the color to green just because I want you to be able to see what's gonna happen next. Hit OK. Then you have to touch the bucket, and that's what's going to apply the uh, line property you just chose. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. And then all I do is touch the outline. And you can see that it turned green and that applied the stitching. I can hit next. If I wanted to at this point, if I decided, oh, I do want a zigzag stitch, I could always go back and pick it if I want to. I'm gonna leave it at a running stitch. We're gonna hit set. It's telling me that it's converted it to an embroidery pattern. And we're gonna be leaving my design center and we're gonna go to the embroidery edit screen and that's okay. So right now I could go into edit and I could change the size if I wanted to, make it any size I want. I sized it to um, fit into the rectangle on my table runner and all you'd have to do is hit okay, embroidery, and you could stitch it out. 
how I stitched my tree on my table runner. I stitched it in a silver metallic thread and I used my dime magnetic hoops. I still have to get my bindings sewn on, but I had my top and bottom magnetic hoop and I used my projector over there and I lined up the tree where I wanted to stitch it and I stitched it. So that's how easy it is to do it on the machine. Another way you could do it, and the way that I actually did it on my um, for my runner, was I opened up my software, and I use PE Design. And all you have to do is, this is the reason I downloaded an SVG, because it's basically one click. I'm going to go to Import Patterns from Vector Image. I have my uh, SVG on my desktop right there. Here it is click on it, you see a preview right here, open it, and it basically has already turned it into stitches. I could save it, I could uh, go up here and send it to my machine and stitch it out. I could also go up here to the shapes button and let's see if I wanted to, I could turn it into a zigzag, I could turn it into a candle wick stitch. I can change anything I want. I kept it as a running stitch. And again, I could do file, save as, save it as a PES file, or I could take this right from the screen and go to the home screen and send it to my Luminaire. So that's how easy it is to create a simple quilting file. Um, I hope that this helped you. I hope that this helped Barb. And thanks for watching.